you're gonna think. Hey guys, welcome back. I'm glad to see you. Hope you're glad to be here. I know I'm glad to be here. Anyway, uh, today's video is going to be on rebuilding a uh, Dodge Chrysler NP231D. Um, a whole bunch of those 231s are pretty much the exact same model. Minute little differences between, you know, Dodges and Jeeps, uh, stuff like that. And these transfer cases are very similar to like the uh, MP231, 241, um, and various other models. But um, as you'll see in the video, it does not go off without a hitch. So uh, without further ado, let's get to it. putting on my PPE. Hey, I'm a poet and I didn't know it. <laughs> I'm trying not to lie. Uh, that one looked a little bulky. I wanted to make sure there wasn't a tarantula in it. <laughs> right. If there was... Make this video in the ER. Nah, not from a tarantula. They're not poisonous here. That's three quarters of the way through. I can't get the ringer around it anymore. It's only like this much pipe. You can't get it? Nah, from over here. Oh. The angle would be like. I got a sawzall blade for a metal today in town. Yeah, that would require money. This channel has no funding. Uh, like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. <laughs> Hopefully we'll get some funding eventually. 20 bucks a month would be all it would take for a sawzall blade. Uh, well, 20 bucks one time. That's what I'm taking. Um, hey, I wonder if I can... No. Yeah. Yeah, I should be able to get it like that. I don't know why I took my gloves off. Oh, you're probably not going to want to lay there right now. I was going to lift it up a little bit, give it some more room. Nah, lifting it up make it harder. I don't want I didn't ask! <laughs> Give me the thing! These are like ski goggles. I don't know why they call them work goggles. Maybe in Alaska. <laughs> in a sandstorm or something. I don't know. Yeah. Afghanistan. Okay. I guess I could see that. Yeah, Afghanistan. You know? Desert storm. But I bought them here. Live in the desert. Here we go. Now you can grab that in. Give it a little, a little bit of a twist. Grab this and twist it. Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. Aha. 
grab me a 12 millimeter wrench. Yeah. That sounds breakable. Probably my kids. Again. I mean, I love my kids. A 12? But they get into shit. I think it's a 12. Could be wrong. Ow! Oh. Let's find out. Ooh, I'm fired. 13. Or 14. I don't know. transfer case is about to come out but I can guarantee you this is about to be a cluster did you loosen it yeah oh you just gotta use the zip zip or your fingers zip zip and it's raining again this is why I'm using my phone and not the camera it's 2022 you got your guns one more again can we see Sure, as long as my hand's not on the jack. <laughs> going up or down? What are we doing? Oh, well, well, let's try going down, see what happens. I was gonna say, give it a wiggle, see if it comes back. It does have sealant on it, so. Oh, uh, uh, well, apparently not much. No. It just right. broke loose. I saw yeah. it move. Yeah, that's the drain fluid. There shouldn't be much in there. Okay, I'm gonna keep kicking it. See? Oh. Should be about it. Or not. Is there another bolt? No, it's got the shaft in there. I don't think. No, there it is. Coming back? Oh, what <laughs> the hell? Where was all that hiding? <laughs> oh, my. Shit. Hey, grab that kitty litter bag behind you by the stairs. For the record, had I expected that much fluid to come out, I would not have just said keep going. <laughs> oh, and I just realized I'm laying in a trail of ants. That's cool. Look, only they're the little ones. All right. I can't really wiggle it without compromising everything. Oh, there it is. It's yeah. coming out. Back more? Yep. Whoa. Oh, that, I think that's it. Let me let it down now. All right. I'll try and hold it as much. Oh, man. Or maybe that's not. Wait, it. How heavy is this thing? Mm, like 150 pounds. Oh, I think it's the tail shaft hitting the cross member. Back here? Yeah. Yeah, to go. Go. Oh, oh, shit. oh okay. <laughs> or, or, or do that. I'm about to put all my weight on this. This is going to slip down. Ugh. It's like, right. uh, you got it? I mean, yeah. let it down. Okay. All right, I'm going to go down now. Okay. We're going to have to go forward at some point, but I don't know what point. Can you see it all? You have to go back, but like yay much. I don't think we have yay much. Unless we go up. All right, hold on. Where's that other glove at? You threw it at me. Oh, I tried to kill you. Assault. Assault with a deadly glove. I'm going to try to pick it up. Okay, I'm not Hulk here. Uh, I'm gonna pick it up and 
lift it and like shift it this way. So it'll come out of the yeah, top? Yeah, exactly. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. What am I stuck on? Am I holding on something? I don't know. Oh, the vent tube. Okay, well, yeah, just lower the jack for now. Like you're gonna just take it out? I'm or? gonna see if I can, if I can somehow Can't lift it. Yeah. Without like dropping or doing damage. Like out, out. See if you can. Oh, look at you. Watch your put, put that wood down there. Uh, just, just, just the wood. Yep, yep, yep. yep. Oh, okay, that's good right there. Hold on, it's on the pry bar. What do you mean? Oh, it's okay, it's okay. I just didn't want you to drop it. Oh, we're good. Nice. See everybody? Pays to have a giant friend get around. Mexican Hulk. <laughs> Alrighty guys, I'm just gonna take this adapter plate off here, or adapter housing, whatever you call it, um, off here tonight. That's all we're doing tonight. Ow! I have my finger in there. Because I'm a smart cookie. I wonder if a quarter inch drive ratchet with a little shorty 14 would fit in there. After I break these loose. Maybe I can find it. In that, uh... What? Yeah, that's the right one. The Craftsman quarter inch is the one that needs to get replaced or rebuilt. Some guy said he was going to take it in with before me and... Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Left it here. I don't know. What kind of friend? That's a good friend, huh? So, uh, the bolts from the transfer case to the housing here are the standard Chrysler 6. They're, they're all the same, I, I think, forever. I don't know. The pattern is slightly offset between two bolts, I believe it is, so that the drop is at the right angle. But other than that, I think they're all the same. Never mind. I don't think we need to ratchet. No, the canyon in front of 14. After I broke them loose, they just come right off. Alright. I wonder if my, uh, my subscribers can hear the bug zapper, like, they can hear the bug genocide happening in the background. <laughs> Trust me, they all deserve it. Maybe you don't want to get PETA after you. I don't think PETA works with bugs, do they? I don't know. All living things, right? Okay. Well, yeah, maybe. about the paint job on this table. You know, most of that's not paint, right? No. It's mill scale. <laughs> I was like, why sand it off? The mill scale is harder than the rest of it. But my table has a coating of hard ox in it. can't see it. I, I apologize. There's five. And here comes six. If I heard that. Probably. There we go. There we go. Yeah, maybe somebody was in here before. Yeah, Loctite on those threads? No. If it is, they used way too much. I don't think it is, actually. Way too much. I think somebody may have rebuilt this once before. I don't recall ever seeing ink pin from the factory. 
So I think that seal is leaking. Looks like it's kind of... Yeah, thankfully there's no lip. But I got an oil seal right there that goes onto this shaft. So yeah. So earlier today if you had told me that I was going to use a pressure washer on this and do it on my workbench, I would have laughed at you. But there is a nasty lightning storm just to our southwest. Uh, and I don't know if it's going to come this way or not. But I'm not about trying to get caught up in that. Yes, this is a metal structure. However, it is grounded. Um, although I do need to kind of hustle because the hose is a uh, metal braided line. So, we're going to get to this so that I can get to uh, rebuilding. And, um, hopefully, nothing super bad happens. Concrete dry off a little bit. Oh, and apparently the camera. And uh, we'll start on this thing. <laughs> My bad. Better? Worse? Yeah, looks better. Well, so much for letting things dry off in here. The storm came in and like flooded the floor again, but. Whatever, the front's moved through, I'm not worried about lightning now, so... On with the reindeer games. Just kidding. <coughs> so the first task is going to be taking these eight bolts off. Uh, two of them are studs. I believe these are 15s. Those are... well, those might be 15s also. We're going to find out. These are going to be the two main case halves. Oh, uh, let's see. I think I probably want to get those studs first. It's kind of funny, I remembered to put the nut back on one, but not the other. Oops. Actually, those look smaller than 15. Or not. Bolts come right out, but not the studs. Okay. Do, 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 do. Definitely 15. Ow. Rust is not your friend. Damn!
Okay, I'll fold it. This is not a weighted hammer, it's literally just a rubber mallet. That one's got a washer. The other one did not. Weird. Well, it takes care of all the ones on the bottom. Ideally, you'll want to work on this standing upright. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do on that yet. Um, I know I got to take this other, you know, the yoke out for the front drive shaft. So all the seals are leaking. So all the seals have to be replaced, including the one behind that yoke. I find it really weird that some have washers and some don't. And some have blue Loctite and some have yellow. Not sure you can get any more random than that. And none of them are torqued to the same spec, which means somebody probably had this apart at one point and just was like, yeah, that's tight. Oh boy, that one don't want to move. Hmm. I don't want to use the air gun in that if I don't have to. Uh -huh. a different range, apparently. Got a little guide pin tip on it. I assume, more than likely, all of these did at one time. You know, I just thought of. I need to take each one of these stages apart, and I know this one has got RTV, so that's going to fight. So I should probably put a couple of bolts back in this until I pop this off. Probably be the smart thing to do. Ooh, stuffy mixed stuff pants. Man, I wish I had a parts washer. I didn't mean to make one, but... That's how it got to it. What's that? Give her a little loaf tap. Oh yeah, somebody's definitely been in here. There's a paint pen in there too. Well, this one shouldn't fight, but I'm gonna go ahead and zip those bolts up too. Those are tens. Oh, I forgot to put my gloves on. I swear I'll remember one day. All right. Thank you. 
five of these guys. This part actually has. Ooh. Oh, wow. I haven't taken the lock or lock ring off of there yet. That's not great. But we may have found a found a thing. And there's that housing with that gasket. If you're not familiar with what this is, this is the actual fluid pump that pumps the fluid up and lubricates everything. Um, this is not actually like solidly attached to anything. Just sits in some grooves in the back of that housing. It keeps it in place. They're spaced out so you can only put it in one way, you can't can't mess that up. And there's no locking ring that keeps it on the shaft either. Well, looks like we're Officially to the case halves. Now this guy does, you do have a uh, couple of spots where you can get a little pry bar or screwdriver in there's notches in the housing I'm um, not sure if you can see that or not Let's see if I can find another one <laughs> that's the only one I see anyway uh, yeah it's just a little notch in the back housing that gives you room to get in there. All right guys, well, I have to call it there. Um, I'm trying not to make these videos any longer than 30 minutes now. And unfortunately, there's quite a bit more than 30 minutes worth of video on this uh, transfer case rebuild. However, um, the project is pretty much complete, so being able to assemble these videos and get it done shouldn't take long at all. Um, and we do have more stuff to come. So until next time, take care. I love you.